Well, hello, Spider Wayne, and it is Saturday, September 10th, and I am in the middle of a ride for the day. It is uh, about 11.24 in the morning, and this is my fourth fill up today but it's really my third gas stop. I am doing an iron butt. I'm doing the Saddle Sore 1000. So I left Lewiston this morning at 4 a.m. That was my first day up. I rode about 119 miles to Erie, Pennsylvania, and that was my first official fill up on the road. Then I rode about another uh, 135 miles to Seville, Ohio. So that was my second fill up on the road. And this is my third fill up. I'm at New Stanton, Pennsylvania, which is, it's in the Pittsburgh uh, area a little south east of Pittsburgh I believe and uh, this ride was about 161 miles and so far for the day 414 my game plan is to try and be home before 10 o'clock tonight midnight at the absolute latest if things start slowing down or I start getting too tired I will grab a room but uh, I'm feeling pretty good and uh, I wasn't going to video anything today, but I'm doing this on my phone, and uh, maybe I'll check in a couple more times before the day is done. Alright, just got gas on uh, stop number 4. 4.468 gallons, $20.50. We're on the PA Turnpike. Total miles so far today, 561.3. So, in my Zoom OXT, which was, it's really cool. I mean, I did the whole trip in here in Trip Planner, uh, set up every stop and everything. It's, it's working really good. It was kind of easy. So, before we go on this stop, uh, we've done 561 miles so far. We, me. <laughs> and it's three minutes to two, so it's not quite 10 hours. But we'll call it 10 hours, 561 miles. So, I'm averaging just over 56 miles an hour. That's a little better than my goal. So I, I should be home at a decent hour, between 10 and 30, maybe an 11 tonight. Maybe 10 if I'm lucky, but I, I doubt it'll be by 10. But I'm feeling pretty good. So maybe see you at the next stop. Okay, we're at stop number five. And here we flip. On. It's actually called Joe's Quick Mart. The darn receipt didn't work at the machine. Figures I'd get one today. <laughs> so I went in inside and got one. Okay. So it's 10 to 4. We've gone 661 miles so far today. And according to. Oh boy. Some road is closed. I'm going to have a problem here. All right, according to the GPS, we have 369 miles to go. Now, it says I should be home at 918. No, I got a couple stop gas stops to make before then, so it's going to be after 10. It's 5.46, we're at my second last stop. Um, well, there'll be one more between here and home and then the final one at home. So I'm at the Exxon Onbow Center, I think they call this. Yeah. Onbow, I'm at Exxon, I just got, it's hard to see, 16.75, 3.933 gallons. And my odometer is at 13,674.6, and it's uh, 5, 5.47 p.m. Total for the day, 
we're up to 773.5 so getting there so one more stop between here and home and then the final one at home alrighty see you in a bit okay we're at our last stop before we get home so we're about two and a half hours from home I think so, yeah. 2.9 gallons and the odometer is at uh, 13765.5 and our trip we are up to 864.4 so that'll probably be around 1030 when we get home. Back at the ending point, and uh, just filled up, and we're done. What do we got here? Alright, so the final mileage is 13930.4. The bike odometer, or the bike trip meter for the day, is 1029.3. So, that's it for the day. It's been a long day. Had a successful day. Completed the ride. I'm starving. I'm gonna go home, go eat, and get some sleep. All right. It is the day after my nice, fun day of riding yesterday on uh, Saturday, September 10th, uh, completing my first Iron Butt Saddle Sore 1000 ride. Now it's not official until I submit all the paperwork and hopefully get that approved by the Iron Butt Association. But I'll, I'll worry about that. In the coming days. So I had the first couple hours in the morning in the dark. It didn't start to get dawn until I was in Erie, Pennsylvania. And then the dawn started happening. By the time I got to Ohio, it was full morning bright and started warming up. So I had the first couple hours in the dark. That was from four till almost six. And I had the last couple hours from about eight till 10, 10, 15. And I, I have the healthy dose of paranoia when I'm riding in the dark. I can drive in the dark all night long. I've always been comfortable and love driving at night. Uh, I prefer actually wearing very dark sunglasses or driving without the sun anywhere around me. Um, and night driving, was I've always been fine with But riding a motorcycle, not so much. Um, you know, deer. You know, this region, where I lived in Canada, lots of deer, especially this time of year. And... Uh, I was lucky. Um, I expected to see some deer yesterday. I only saw one the entire, none in the morning, none at all. If, they, if, if there was any around on that first couple hours in the dark, I never saw one. Didn't see any during the day at all. And I didn't really expect to. I'm on interstate most of that ride. But on this last leg between Syracuse and Buffalo, New York, I'm maybe a third of the way in, you know, it was less than 100 miles from home. And something caught my eye up ahead, and within a second or two, it was in my headlights, but it was in the left lane. And I was in the right lane, and something caught my eye, and right when my lights shone on it, it was a deer. And luckily, it wasn't moving. It was standing still, and it was in the left lane. And so I didn't miss it by much. And, uh, whew, you know, that got the adrenaline going, and, and that was enough just to keep me very alert for the rest of the ride home. So... I was worried about getting tired or, or fatigued or sleepy on that last part of the ride during the dark. Uh, luckily, I didn't hit the deer. Luckily, um, it actually was lucky that I almost hit a deer because it just got the adrenaline rush going. And the rest of the ride home, I was <laughs> very alert. And uh, it ended up being a great ride all day. No other issues at all during the ride. One little minor receipt issue. Very, very minor. Anyway, um, that's it. It was a successful ride. We'll see if I get certified or approved. If I don't, like I said, it's not the end of the world, but uh, I, think I, I, I think I will. So I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, and until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.